So the chord progression would go like this. We have that A minor here, which is the C, is next, followed by the D, and then that F7. And I would play up here, which is that C, E flat, F, and A. The last chord in the progression would be an E, which looks like this. We've got a low E on the bottom. The way that that works is we've got, a, we've got two black keys that are here. To the left is the C, the D, and then the E right over here. And so we get that nice low E note in the bass. In the right hand, it would consist of the E, the G sharp, and the B. Together, sound like this. So now when I put the entire progression together, it's going to sound like this. So just to recap what I, what I did right there, I'm just going to slow it down. And shows like, well, wait a second, he's, he's breaking it up, he's doing something different there. So, no, actually what I'm, what I'm doing is just playing that low A, as I showed you guys earlier, and instead of playing it as a solid chord like that, I'm starting to break it up. So I've got the same notes, that A, C, E, C, A, C in the, in the bass, G, C, E, C, G, followed by the D. And then I've got that A, D, F sharp, D, A. And then that F7, C, E flat, F, A, F, E flat. And I tend to hold a couple of those notes down just so I give that a little bit of a tension uh, note with that, with that uh, F, uh, F7. And then going back down to that A minor, And then the new chord, which is the E, now I'm playing it in, not root position, not first inversion, or sorry, actually in, in first inversion, like so. And then back to the root position here. So the whole thing then, without any breaks in it, would sound like this. cycle. So those are, the, those are the chords for House of the Rising Sun. Thanks so much for, for watching and if you have any uh, questions or comments please uh, do so. Leave them in the, in the comment section below the tutorial here. Have a great day.